Hello friends. Good evening all of you. Welcome to the first session of antonyms. Now when we talk about English section, we have three parts. Grammar, vocabulary and comprehension. Vocabulary and comprehension play a very important role in English section as they cover maximum questions and maximum marks. So we shall be covering the vocabulary section first. The most important questions asked are antonyms, synonyms, one word substitutes and we have other different type of pattern. So we will be going for the antonyms first. So we shall look at the first question. The most common pattern to ask a question on antonym and synonym is that you are being provided by a word as you can see on the screen and you have four options given below and you need to pick up one word which is the exact antonym or synonym of the word. Now let us see the first word that is abskin. This word comes from a Latin origin which actually means an escape or a run away especially to avoid an arrest. So this word means to escape or to avoid arrest. This is also having a very important synonym. This word should be learned or this word should be kept in mind. Vemuz. Vemuz is a very important synonym for abskin. Vemuz again means an escape or avoid to arrest. Now let us see the options there. First option is surrogate. Surrogate is a word which is quite commonly used. That means generally it is used to, for surrogate mothers. Surrogate means a substitute. So we say a surrogate mother is a substitute mother. This won't be our answer. This cannot be. So let us cross this out. Next option number B that is surrender. Now this is a direct answer we can say because abskin means to escape. Surrender means to give up. The next option C that is bane. Now bane is anything that causes a distress to you or anything that causes a sadness. A very important synonym to this word is menace. M-E-N-A-C-E. -E, menace. This word is synonym to bane that means anything which causes sadness or distress. Next question we shall come on that is abolish. Now abolish means a formal termination or eradicate or annul. The word here is annul. We should be quite very careful about the spelling. Annul. First word derange. Derange means to make someone insane or to make someone mad. So this won't be our answer. Next option number B target. It means an aim. This again cannot be answer. Option number C is to impose. Now impose means to apply or to forcefully apply something. So impose can be our answer because abolish means to terminate or end. So impose means to apply. That is our answer given there. Come on to next question. Question number 3. Abstract. Now the word abstract means two form it can be used in. Now this is very important here. Abstract when used in a form of verb, it actually means existing in thought and not in physical or practical way. Anything which is theoretical or which is conceptual, which is not practical. So abstract when used in a form of verb, it means theoretical or conceptual. But when it is used in a form of noun, it means uh, extract of something or we can say a precise or summary of something. So let us see in which form it is used here. First one option A means to blame that means to help someone responsible. This won't be our answer. Next option number two is magical. This again cannot be answered that means totally full of magic. Matter is a physical substance and D option concrete is anything which is physically existing. So this is our direct answer. Abstract which means something theoretical or conceptual. Concrete that means something which is physically present. Next question. Question number 5. That is actual. Now actual is a thing which is real or which has a fact. Let us see the options. First one is pragmatic. Pragmatic means anything 
a person who deals with a fact or who deals with a thing in a practical or realistic way. A person who has a approach of a practical and realistic way to deal with things. This cannot be our answer. Let us cancel it out. Option number B, growl. Now growl is used as a snarl or a bark of some animal. Although human beings also, but it is generally used for animals like bears, wolves and dogs. C option, factual. Factual is something which is truthful. So this is actually synonym to actual. So we don't have any answer, any antonym to this word. So we'll tick mark the fourth option that is none of these. Next question. Eban. Eban means existing in a large amount. Something which is very in a huge amount or something which flourishes a lot. Such things are Eban. We also call such things as Thrive. Thrive means extremely in amount or very large in amount. Option number A is scarce. Now this is our direct answer given there. Scarce means something which is very less or something which is quite very limited in source. Second option intelligent. Third option parental related to parents. Now D option is very important word there. Mockish. Now you have to be careful this actually is a German word. It has a German existence. This word means mock. M A W K. It should not be confused with word M O C K. They are totally different words. Mockish means a person or a behavior which is over sentimental or over emotional, generally in a wrong way. Like we generally say, uh, crocodile tears, such a kind of behavior is a mockish behavior or a mockish attitude. MOCK mock means to make fun of somebody. So these are totally different words. We should be very careful about the spelling there. Mockish and mock. Next question. Accordance. Now this word accordance means with agreement. It is quite a common word. We in generally we generally use this word accordance to something or according to something. That means with agreement to something or in confirmation with something. First word A cover. Can't be our answer. Second one stubborn. Stubborn is a person or a behavior where a person refuses to change. This can't be answer. Massacres. Massacres is huge or massive killing of number of people at a time. Many people went slaughtered together. It was called massacres. This won't be again our answer. Option number D. Disharmony. Now wherever you find this before any word, it means uh, always negative. So disharmony means lack of agreement. Without agreement. Accordance with agreement. Disharmony. Lack of agreement. So we have our answer there. This harmony. Next question. A custom. A custom means make someone accept or agree. So first option, a sign. A sign means to give or to uh, or to give some work or to uh, give something to someone. Second option, abjure. Abjure is to reject a claim. So a custom means to accept thing or make someone accept. So abjure will be to reject. This is our answer. Necessity. Necessity is need or requirement of something. So we have our answer there. Option number B that is abjure. Come to the next question. Annihilate. Now this is an important word. Annihilate means to destroy completely or to uh, damage or, uh, or to damage something extremely massive or something which you nullify something. It is nullify means something which you make zero it is null first option regenerate now re means again and generate means to make so this is an antonym of this word annihilate regenerate means to grow or new grow new thing after any loss or damage c option transfer this you know strange discover don't need to explain this come on to the next question Antique. Antique 
is something which holds a very high value especially because it is quite very old anything which is very old like we have hotel taj the building is so old that they declared as that it as an antique one so anything which is high in value because of its year or because of its age is called antique thing first one is modern modern should be our answer modern means which is quite very new second option trample trample means to crush or to stamp or one important word there is to tread that means to fall down by trampling down placement you know resourceful something which is useful so our answer there is modern next question assign assign is to give a work or job to someone assign means to give a work or job to someone or somebody first one design i don't need to tell this strangle strangle is to choke the throat of a person especially so that he may die so this can be answer again we'll cross it out suspend now assign means to give work to somebody and suspend means to take the work or to throw out somebody so this is our answer given there suspend next question beneath beneath means to extend below something or to grow in a to grow beyond beneath next first word is entertain entertain means to provide amusement or to provide excitement or to provide uh, or to provide any kind of uh, amusement to anyone shape is to make form is to form a thing again it is wrong a loft a loft is up in the air or quite high so we can say anything which is beyond is beneath up is a loft this is antonym to this one resemblance is similarity this is again not our answer our answer will be option number c that is a loft next question bain bain means as we did this word earlier also bain is anything that causes distress or sadness such a kind of thing is called bane and boon means anything which is helpful or which makes you uh, cheerful or any blessing is called a boon so this is a antonym to this second word damage third word realistic which is very practical enough so the answer to this question will be option number a boon next question bear bear means to carry or to support something so bear your actually bear you have an animal also but here it is used in a sense of carrying or uh, supporting something for bear now this is important you have to be careful for bear is used for our ancestors or any um, anything or any one who is our ancestor who relates to our ancestors our for bear second option is crumble crumble is to break so bear means to support or to carry crumble is to break this is our answer translate is to change next question come on to the next one that is brisk brisk is active and energetic any one who is quite very energetic who is quite very active is a brisk person first option task is a verb second option tumult tumult is a loud confused noise it is a noise that is generally caused by a large number of people which is also called havoc or uproar any such kind of noise which is quite very confused and made by number of people or large number of people is called tumult that is have a call approve next word is confer confer is to grant a title to someone this again won't be our answer option number d is to slow down anything which is quite very active the opposite will be slow down which is answer of our this question next question
bucolic bucolic is rural or countryside anything which belongs to rural or countryside is bucolic first word is urbane now you have to be very careful with the pronunciation there it is urbane not urban urban means anything which belongs to the city urbane is sophisticated elegant or modern you can say so bucolic answer should be urbane c trust b capacity b option stamper stamper means a panic or a rush generally uh, this is used for any incident and accident especially we have number of stampers in india especially in the uh, holy or religious places and we had a very horrible stampede in makkah madina this year last month which was uh, a result of a, which which gave a result of number of massive destruction number of people were killed there so such a kind of a panic or rush is called stampede next question that is blemish now this word girls should generally know this word very well blemish is a, sp a spot which spoils the appearance of something girls they generally have pimples on their faces and that spoils the beauty of them so such kind of a spot or anything which spoils the appearance is blemish first one defer defer is to postpone things or to cancel out things or to make it uh, uh, delay them such this word won't be answer next word gamble gamble as you know gambling is a game also and to bet is also gamble this is again not our answer peal peal means it is actually used for a loud ringing of bells a loud ringing of bell is called peal this is not our answer again blemish means something which spoils the look and fashion means something which improves the look or which makes you look stylish or very good enough so this should be an antonym fashion and turn into blemish next question blaze blaze means extremely fierce burning fire fiercely burning fire first word confer confer again we say it is grant or have a discussion on something second one is ice ice should be the direct antonym to this word fire ice they are totally opposite to each other second word a uh, third option is queer queer means a strange thing or an odd thing so this again cannot be answered and d is doubtful as you know this i don't need to explain come on to the